A word of warning. This podcast explores graphic and disturbing stories and includes some strong language. It therefore may not be suitable for our young listeners or other folks who may find it disturbing. So for all of you who have been following this incredible coverage of what really happened to Sherry Papini, we've got more and and we couldn't fit it into the podcast. So there's this one part that Nancy Muscatello and Louis Bolaños want to talk about. So Nancy, you were working on True Crime Daily, the show at the time. This was a big case when she was abducted and then found. So you have a suspicion, a possible theory as to where Sherry may have gotten the idea to, um, you know, uh, make this abduction story up. Yeah, yeah. So we, 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 when we did our, our special on it, we interviewed um, a, a man that was like a hostage negotiator or someone who's a PI that was hired. It wasn't technically by the family. It was by this local church. Um, there was an anonymous, wealthy anonymous donor who put up the reward, but also paid to um, the services of this this PI. And this PI was known to be like a hostage. He, he gave talks on if you were ever abducted in foreign countries or wherever, like things to do. And I mean, he had a bunker like we, we had Chris mm-hmm. in the bunker to show like what you do if you're held captive and all this stuff. And the reason he was on and he lived in, in this area and the reason he was on the on this radar was because he had spoke at a church prior to Sherry going missing and everything about this. And so when Sherry did go missing, um, someone from the church said, oh, we should get a hold of this guy because isn't this crazy? Like we just had someone locally have this happen to them, what he had talked about. And so, yeah, that's how he got brought into it, because they thought they in, in helping the situation to say, OK, you're an expert in all of this. You help us. And and so they had a donor that anonymously was paying for everything. I think that P.I. Um, really got a bad rap because, you know, they were like, well, because they why believe, do you they think believe, this they believe she had been abducted? Right. They bought into right. like and so they, did everybody they almost, else. They almost people started to turn thinking he was involved. Because he knew so much about this type of, you know, if you're held captive, he, he went through a lot with it. And, yeah. um, you know, I think regrets ever getting involved. But, you know, at the time, he thought he was doing good and was trying mm-hmm. to help. Right. So, Lewis, do you think that it's possible that if Sherry went to this uh, church presentation, you know, where this guy is explaining or just heard everyone, about it, yeah. right, heard about it, it's like, look, if you ever get... Um, abducted and and abducted could mean like you're at the ATM and someone grabs you right not to hold you forever like this story with Sherry's version of stuff do you think it's possible that this is where Sherry got a lot of her ideas of how she would plan this thing yes Anna I do I think it's very possible (laughs) right look she first of all I think it's pretty easy to prove they probably already have the answer to this was she part of the church did she attend Someone already knows the answer to that. Did she go to this presentation, right? Or maybe like Nancy said, maybe she got it from somebody else who went. So there's there's a connection there somehow. But what she does do that makes me think this is very possible, through this whole thing, she everything that she says, she's so specific as to what happened to her. It's like she took se- special scenes from 50 movies we've all seen, right? And she incorporated them to fit her story perfectly. So this is just a, just another one of those stories that, that are themes that she pulled out to get her idea from, to, to give us some legitimacy. And she did reference, yeah. she did tell authorities that she, oh, she knows everything about crime because she watches every crime show. At the time, she was watching the show Blacklist. So she knew everything. Anyway, I we thought that was an interesting angle it, for those <laughs> of you who want to keep talking about this case and you want to know more. So it was just a little something we wanted to add Um, in case you wanted to keep the conversation going. We thank you. This is True Crime Daily, the podcast.